I mean, they scored some points. We made some big plays on defense, so I never said we have any concerns. What about Doug Free? What can you say about the, the work he was putting in? You know, he's a solid player. I mean, I've been going against him ever since he came here, and he improves every day. He's sort of like uh, sort of that uh, that wall on at the left tackle. I mean, he plays really well. He doesn't give up any pressure. And I'm glad he's on my team. Uh, what about Rob Ryan? What's he hiding under his shirt? I, I don't know. Man. I, I don't know. I actually, I don't know what's up on this shirt. I hope some money's up on this. I think he's hiding like the, the like a Gucci bag full of money up on there. But uh, you know, he's a great coach. He uh, you know adds a lot of multiplicity to our defense, and I think it's going to be a big improvement this year. Demarcus Brady was sent, talking about how you guys had to respond on the fly to what Rob was doing yesterday, and it was real quick pace kind of stuff. You know, and I think you know he sort of tailors the, the scrimmage yesterday like he would be in the game. Uh, he would say, you know, I mean, it's not scripted, or, or they say it's not scripted, but it is. And uh, he'll get out there and say, hey, hell, no, 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 let's let's not run that defense. Let's run it this way. You change it. DeMarc, you play nose guard. Jay, you play uh, defensive end. Uh, Brady, no, 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 you blitz the B gap. And DeMarcus, you you know, you drop back and be free safety. You know, so I need to know, um, you know, what everybody's doing. And uh, it sort of, you know, keeps the offense on their feet. You got Marcus, some young you guys able to watch the film of the scrimmage yesterday. If so, just your thoughts looking back at it today. Later. You know what? Um, we you know we watched it this morning actually, um, and you know when you look at our defense, it's like it's a lot of multiplicity. A lot of guys with responsibilities, and you got to be smart. You got to be a smart guy playing on this defense. And you know once you get the gist of everything, you know we can be really good. Did you get a sense? I know Rob was talking about it yesterday after the scrimmage, communication, substitutions. I mean, is that more of the problem right now as opposed to the offense scoring? Yeah, I think it's it's all about communication. Everybody has to get out there and talk and sort of be their own individual leader, and uh, just get out there and just playing and, and substituting. You know, if it's base, if it's dime, if it's nickel, if it's quarter package, whatever he's calling. You know, knowing who's in the game. But overall it, happy with Oh, overall happy, yes. It's been uh, about a couple of weeks, and you guys are just about done here. What have you guys gotten out of the work here in San Antonio so far defensively? You know what? If I can show you guys my playbook, I mean, it's probably about 80 plays uh, in that playbook, and, and every guy knows every single play and know the responsibility of each one of the players. And sort of that's what we needed. And we were sort of looking forward to that. I mean, with the, with the lockout, it sort of, you know, we was looking forward to the OTAs and everything, but, you know, the time that we had, we sort of was able to get everything in and, you know, what, two weeks, we almost been here, and we thought we couldn't do it, and we, and we got it done. You yeah, ready to hit somebody else? Oh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired of hitting my own guys, but the thing is, you know, going against some of the uh, – practice is usually a little bit harder than the game. I mean, going against Doug Free, one of the great, you know, uh, tackles, and going against, you know, Ty, he, he's improving a lot. Um, but, you know, I want to see some more colors now. With the lockout – affecting everything this off season, Do you think it'll change how much you guys play in that first game, or will it be the normal one or two series? I think I think it's still going to be a, the same normal one or two series. Um, I mean, we might, the defense might be out there a little bit longer just to, you know, get some, you know, uh, looking at the formations and, you know, just getting a gist of how the game flows. We might be out there a little bit longer, but, you know, the offense is clicking on all cylinders, and, and we need to be the same one. As you get to the end of this camp, when you compare it to last year, would you say you guys are a little more fresher? Than last year, even though you had a lot of travel. Yeah, yeah um, I mean, from this camp to last camp, I mean, last year, I mean, we were, you know, dead going, going from San Antonio to what, um, New York, Canton, and uh, California, I mean, all those places. But now, you know, we're here in San Antonio, you don't have, you know, two days of pads, you're getting a lot of work done majority mentally because you know the physical part is always in your heart and you know it's, and it comes out on Sunday. Do you think it'll be easier to build on some of the things that you, the good things you've done here into that preseason game on Thursday? I think it is. Um, I mean the, the sort of the total package is already in. Everybody knows what's going on now. It's just getting you know the endurance back. You know to, to get ready to play for the season and, and, uh, and look forward. Everybody's looking forward to the season because you know we ended six and ten but we ended well six and ten. We didn't start off right but we ended right and that's what we're really building on and carrying it over to this season. Marcus, how's Brandon doing? How far is he coming? Uh, he's come on a lot. Um, usually, you know, like last year, you know, he didn't play a lot, but now his responsibilities have changed. I mean, he plays, you know, a lot of the plays on, on base and dime and all the sub packages and Victor Butler the same way. So those guys are going to be playing a lot this season. Demarcus, the contract's up here after this camp. What are your thoughts on continuing camp in San Antonio, or do you prefer California? You know, I always like to be close to home, and uh, especially in the dome. There's probably what, like 60 degrees in here, <laughs> with no sun. You know, I like San Antonio. Hopefully, we're able to come back. But you know, if we have to go to Oxnard, you know, the weather is nice out there, and you know, everything is a little bit closer. Is the turf a factor at all? Uh, on y'all's um, news? Or? 
I think, you know, with the OTAs and you know, the lockout, you know, it could affect it a little bit with guys running on the turf because they're not used to it. Because usually in OTAs, you sort of get that first soreness out with mm -hmm. the OTAs and the mini camps, and we're getting that out now in training camp. Mm -hmm. um, but if you didn't have that, I think you know, San Antonio would be perfect. Otherwise, I would like to start on grass. How do you think Rob's going to approach this first preseason game? Do you think he's going to try to throw the kitchen sink? I, I don't think he is. I, I wouldn't throw the kitchen sink out. But you, <laughs> there's always things that you can work on and, and see actually how to work mm -hmm. against you know the opposing team. And uh, you know, if you try to throw the kitchen sink with Rob's defense, I mean that's a big kitchen sink. So <laughs> I'd rather just turn the water on and just let it run a little while. Yeah. I mean, how curious think are you to see how it operates in a game? I mean, I, yesterday wasn't a true sense. I, I, sure. I think you know when you when you look at you know his defense, I want to see you know first second down how fast. But the thing is, like in our scrimmage, we did that. It was like really fast pace. He was changing stuff on the fly. You got to know what's going on, and, um, and he sort of tailored that as you would be playing in a game. Actually, probably faster than the game. <laughs> That's true. So. Thanks, Marcus. Appreciate it.